Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm sharing three cards. All three of them are perfect for Valentine's Day, but depending on uh, the stamp that you are going to use as a sentiment, you can use them throughout the whole year. So let's start with the first card for today, and for that I will be using a new product from the January release by My Favorite Things. I placed this new die on top of a white cardstock and I cut it out. You can see that it cuts out a window, which makes uh, a great shaker card. And uh, it also cuts out all those connected cards, so you end up with an outline. Now, for today's card, I will not go for a shaker card, although I absolutely love them and I need to use this die to create a shaker card as well. But I am going to make a window card, so through all those uh, hearts, you will be able to see a background that I am creating right now. I am using my Distress Oxide inks and I have uh, smooshed them on top of my non-stick craft mat. Now I'm applying uh, on top uh, my paper. By the way, the paper that I'm using here is the Mixed Media Paper by Ranger. I find that it works beautifully with Distress Oxide inks. Once that was dry, I go back to add some more splashes and the three colors that I used are Spiced Marmalade, Picked Raspberry and Seedless Preserves. This color combo is great if you want to create Valentine's Day cards and uh, instead of doing the technique that I did, you can just go with your blending tools and add those colors on your background for a smoother effect. Now, as you can see, I'm adding some uh, water splashes. I will leave those for a few seconds to react with the ink and then I'm going to use my towel and just blot them. Now you can just stick the outline on top of this gorgeous background and you have a card there. However, I cut out the outline one more time out of glitter cardstock. So only the outline is uh, made out of glitter now. I'm going to stick all those pieces together. They are going to fit uh, one inside the other like a puzzle. And for that I'm using my white Nouveau Deluxe glue. I like this glue because it dries quickly and it grabs the papers really quickly. You do have a few seconds to slide the papers until you are happy with the placement, but then it dries super quickly, you don't have to wait at all. Now I also have a couple of pieces from the cutout that I'm going to stick right inside uh, this uh, design, where these are actually a part of a background, they are not part of the hearts. So I'm just going to stick those pieces there. And my panel is pretty much ready. All I need to do is to stick this on top of a four and a quarter by five and a half card, as well as stick down my sentiment. The sentiment comes from a tiny little stamp set which is called Sweet Celebrations and it is packed with uh, sentiments that you can use all year round such as You Melt My Heart, Sweetest Wishes, Love You, I Love You More Than Chocolate and lots and lots of more. I finished off my card by sticking down a few of those clear bubbles and here are some close-up photos of the first card that I'm sharing for today. And again, this is quite versatile. It can be a birthday card, it can be a best wishes card. It really depends on the sentiment that you decide to stick on top. For my next card, I am preparing this piece of paper with uh, Span Sugar Distress Oxide Ink. And I'm just blending a little bit of color over the new stencil, which is called Lots of Hearts. I don't need to cover it up completely. I'm going to use just a part of this paper later on. Now, I'm going to do some stamping. For that, I will use a new adorable stamp set released for, by My Favorite Things for January. It's called Tweet Hearts and it's super super cute. It's packed with uh, little birds that you can use to create uh, love scenes. Uh, some of them are holding hearts, they are looking into each other. They also hold uh, little envelopes with hearts on top. And there are also lots of sentiments on top of them. Now I have stamped uh, a couple of birds. I used my alcohol markers to color them and also used the matching dies to cut them out. I also prepared this panel with a circle window at the center, as well as a sentiment from the same stamp set that says you make my heart happy. Now at the back I'm going to stick this uh, panel that I created in the beginning with a stencil and uh, this would make a great shaker card, however I'm just going for a simple window card again. Now it's time to put everything together and I'm going to nest everything inside that window. 
I also used dyes from previous releases that I had in my stash to cut out those leaves in different uh, colors. I used uh, two different uh, colored cardstock just to add some variation and I'm sticking down everything with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. But for the birds I used some uh, foam tape at the back to level them with the top layer of my panel. I also have uh, cut out three little uh, white flowers and I'm adding yellow centers by using my Nouveau Drops. And finally I have a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stick this panel on top. A super cute card and here are some close-up photos. Now remember, like always, you will find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area. So if you like something, don't forget that you will find it there. For the third and last card for today, I'm using my Big Shot and I'm running through the dies from the Friendly Fox new die that has been released again for the month of January. I have used orange for parts of uh, the fox, white for other parts, as well as black for the nose and the eyes. This is a really fun uh, die to play with your kids or your grandkids. And uh, if you love paper piecing, I know that you will love this one. I am going to make a Valentine's Day card, however the design is super versatile, so depending on the sentiment that you choose to stamp, it can, it can work for pretty much any occasion. The fox is really easy to put together. When you run the dies through your uh, die cutting machine, you will see that it ends up with uh, some embossed areas and uh, you know exactly where you need to stick the eyes, the nose, the arms. Now, the, the tail can go right or uh, uh, left, depending on how your design is going to be. And you can see here I have put down the eyes as well as the nose. I'm just uh, finishing off the ears and all that's left to do is to stick down the little tail. Now, this is uh, completely adorable and uh, it would look awesome if you cut it out from uh, felt as well. When I placed down the arms, I only used uh, glue at the top of them, so they are quite free underneath, and this means that they can hold anything you like. And I had this idea to give him a page to turn over, so that you can see the message revealed underneath. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to make sure that everything is nicely measured, and now I can stick down the fox. I used foam tape at the back to give it a little bit of pop on my card and uh, I, you know I love some dimension. I'm going to place him down and uh, then at the bottom I am going to stamp my sentiment. This is the Sweet Nothings stamp set. It's a new stamp set packed with sentiments in a combination of uh, typed and handwritten words which I absolutely love. I went with a sentiment that says it's simple, I love you, and I stamped that with Versa marking and embossed it with white embossing powder and I did that on a piece of cardstock that is uh, the same color as my fox. So my fox kind of holds the paper up so that you can read the message. Now to finish off my card I used one of uh, these hearts. These actually cut out the inside as well as an outline of a heart and I'm going to use only the outline here and just stick it down. That tie set is called uh, Lots of Hearts Outline and it comes with five different uh, heart designs inside. When I'm working with critters that have big black eyes like this fox, I always like to add a dot of white at uh, their uh, eyes. It's a little detail that really brings your characters to life. And finally I'm going to add some shine on the nose by using clear Nouveau Drops. You can do that with glossy accents as well. And my little fox card is ready. I absolutely love that you can add uh, little things for the fox to hold. So it can be a flower for example or a little heart like I did. And here are all the three cards that I made for today. I hope that you had fun as much as I did while I was making these cards. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.